Hey, what's going on guys? It's G-Rad here, and today I want to talk to you about Celimony's Melodyne using Sibiac. Uh, there's a few things you might want to note about this, and that is now Sibiac is a two-part installation add-on process. Um, what you need to do is whenever you download Sibiac and run the latest version of it, you will actually have to install a separate file for the OCR content and a separate file for the actual Sibiac overlay content. And without these two files working together, you will not be able to use Sibiac at all, so keep this in mind. Additionally, what you'll want to do is you will also want to make some changes to Melodyne, which I will go over once we get everything situated. Um, download and install Melodyne. This is working right now with 4.2, which is the latest version as of current video time. And for me personally, I actually have Melodyne set up as an external editor in Reaper, but Melodyne actually does work standalone, and essentially it is actually still standalone. Um, but anyways, to set it up in Reaper as an external editor, you simply just go into Reaper Preferences, Reaper Preferences, which I already have a program o project open, so we can do that, and we're going to go external to preview. external editors one of one level go zero. to external editor, Edit. tab, Find button, OK button, cancel button, list one list. And you go to the list, and the next thing you'll hear, add button. You go to the add button. This is already got default secondary melodyne.exe one of one. Melodyne.exe, and you'll simply point to that. It's in the program files folder under Ceremonies Melodyne. Add button. I'll show you how. So let's add it. Edit button. Add button. Okay. Editor configuration dialog file type extension primary editor. Leave blank to set the default editors. Secondary editor. Edit blank. Okay. Cancel button. Okay button. Browse. Button. Okay button. Browse. And you go to browse. Button. Choose program to open. Dialog file name. And then you'll simply file point name. to Com your Melodyne project. Items view list. Name split button collapsed. Melodyne not selected one of one. Selected. Type edit application read only. Date Melodyne one so of one. So you can already see mine's already set there, so. Tree view. Command module toolbar. Search box edit search melody. Address. C. Program file seal only Melodyne 4 toolbar. Okay, there you go. There's the address. So let's close search out box, of all edit, that. Search Melodyne 4. Command module toolbar. Tree view. Local disk. Editor configuration dialog file type. Extension. OK button. OK. Reaper preferences dialog. Add button. And List 1 list. Default. Secondary. Melodyne.exe. See, I, like I said, I have it as a secondary. The reason I did that is because whenever I open copies of the pieces that I want to cut out, it will actually open it up in a secondary editor and make it a separate take, which is fine with me because I don't want to alter the original WAV file just in case I want to go back and redo something, I can still do so. Now, it's worth noting that Melodyne opens FLAC files, but it will only export in waveform. However, whenever you do the whole secondary editor thing, it will actually export a waveform of that piece of cut file that you actually wanted to edit. Um, I... Um, also, I wanted to go ahead and mention that you do not have to use Melodyne as an editor, but it is recommended to use shorter files to cut back on the processing time of loading the files, and plus it'll make it easier for Sibiac to probably follow. I've been able to load some pretty decently sized files just as a testing purposes to kind of push the limits, but I might have pushed them a little too far. I don't know. I've never really actually tried to mess it up <laughs> but one thing is you don't have to worry about it if it's too large of a file you can simply undo everything and go back and put a smaller file in in its place um all right cool so i have a song already loaded that i recorded last night for the very demonstration Demo for the like. purposes of this video and so we're going to play it and you're going to listen for the lead guitar track which will be on the left hand side of your sound and you will notice that there are some missed notes that I intentionally did for the purposes of this song. So I want to start on bar, bar two, two since bar one is completely empty. And I'm going to hit the play button and you're going to listen to the whole song. And we're going to go back and listen to the lead part and you will see exactly what it is I'm wanting to fix. Play. Yeehaw! <laughs>
Okay, as you have heard, there are three notes, at least, that need to be fixed. And what's okay about this is you can actually keep opening the file up in Melodyne and fixing it. And this is also nice to know that you can do it in real time. Stop. So, as you heard in the lead part, there are some notes that are flat or sharp, depending on Poorly how you want to look at it. All right, so we're going to go to the lead track. Bar 3, bar, 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 bar 7. And I know that it's actually on bar 9, so I'm going to actually play right there. So you can see there's a note that's a little sharp or flat. It sounds like a sharp. And then there's some at the very end. Bar, bar, bar 14, bar, bar 6, bar 17. At bar 17, at the end of bar 17. It's actually starting on bar 18. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go back to bar 9, and I'm actually going to split this audio file right there. And... I'm going to open the second half, the second piece of the audio file in my external editor, which is Melodyne. So let's do this. Bar, 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 bar 12. Bar, bar, bar 9. So what I want to do is I want to go to bar 9, but I actually want to back up just a touch. Bar 8, 68%, 75, 89%. Probably about to 89%, so that way it is... Play. Stop. Play. Stop. So I can get the whole note in there. Solo. Play. Stop. 86%. 82%. Stop. All right, so to split it right there, and then I'm gonna go to two zero four lead rhythm one hundred and eighty one thousand one hundred and two zero zero one three dot flag. Okay, as you can hear, it's a flag file, so F L A C. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control Shift and Enter, and it's gonna bring it up in Melodyne and create a whole separate wave file for it. So let's do that. Now, there's one thing you might want to note as soon as I bring this up, the audio is actually gonna be a clean guitar track. It's not gonna have the luxury of the effects on it which is good because I don't want to record anything like that untitled. because it'll make Melodyne it hard untitled. to actually top follow. Menu. Okay now Melodyne is now open and as you heard it says top menu. Now to activate the top menu you actually need to go in hit, you need to hit enter to activate the actual top menu. Um, there are some settings like I said that you will need to adjust. Um, first and foremost you'll need to go into your preferences and actually set the language to English because it will not work otherwise. Um, that is because whenever it was originally designed with Sibiac, it was designed with the English language in mind since it's more universal. Um, and after doing that, there is some things that you will also need to set. So, top menu, file, edit sub, algorithm, track sub menu, alt plus D. So, you're going to go to the options sub menu, alt plus O. Options menu. Show tracks S. You're going to make sure that show tracks is not checked. Show note editor unavailable, checked S. You're going to make sure that showing the note editor is checked. Note editor submenu N. Scale editor submenu N. Show sound editor S. Pitch grid submenu P. Time grid submenu T. Show info pane submenu S. Left L. You're going to make sure that there is nothing checked in the info pane. You want that to be completely clear. Show info pane submenu S. Show tempo editor submenu S. And the tempo editor. And tempo E. Show you're going to make sure that that's S. completely cleared as well. Auto scroll tracks unavailable check A. All this Auto doesn't matter. Note editor, show tracks S. Show note editor, note editor submenu N. Show note editor unavailable. Check S. Okay. Option submenu alt plus O. Melody untitled star. And um, like I said, after that, you make sure you go into preferences and check the um, language to English. And if you did that, you hit escape until you don't hear nothing. And now you should be able to tab. Tab mode pitch. And you'll hear pitch. And this is where you can shift between pitch format and amplitude. Format. Amplitude. And um, amplitude is your volume increment. Formant is your natural harmonic resonance. And pitch is, well, pretty self-explanatory. All right. Now, after you get from there, you can actually... Amplitude change empty. Tab mode amplitude. Formant. Pitch. So just go back to the pitch. This is going to be your first part of the puzzle. And you're going to tab down. Note empty. Notes empty. Drift empty. Drift is empty. Editor. And here's the actual editor. Now, what's neat is the editor is an option that you can select randomly or stand alone. Now, there are some commands that make this different to work with. So let's go ahead and get the first note highlight by simply arrowing over with the right arrow key. And um, as you can hear, that it's not the loudest thing in the world. So what I'm going to do is... Now that I have a note highlighted, I can actually hit spacebar to play it, or alt plus spacebar to play that note. Playing spacebar just pauses and plays. And 
it'll continue on from there. So now I can actually also reach over to the number pad with number lock enabled and hit the number pad enter to play the song from the starting point. And then hit the zero key to stop. Or space bar rather. Let me turn on. Number lock on. There we go. Yep. All right. And now if you pause and you start playing back on with the number pad enter key, it's going to pick you up right where you left off. So, it's, so I'm going to give you an example of that. And then I'll just, now I'm going to pause with the space bar. And now when I hit the number pad enter, it's going to pick me up right there. Okay. Now if you play hit number pad enter twice, you can actually go back. Try something here. I'm gonna arrow over. Let me pause. Now I'm gonna start right there. So I'm gonna hit Alt and Space to start from that point. So if I double hit Enter on the number pad, it'll start you from the very beginning of the track. So yeah. All right. You see, see how that works? Okay. Now that's pretty much the basic playback functionality. Um, so let's go back to that note that I told you was already flat. And there it is. And let's find out what note it is. You can actually, where it was empty a while ago, now it is going to have information. Top menu, tab mode pitch. So let's go to the pitch and. Note F3. So you can see that note, it tells you it's an F3, which it's supposed to be an E3. So, and let's see what the. Drift plus 16 CT. The drift is a little sharp. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the control and up and down arrow keys to actually change the note from an F3 to an E3. Now, whenever you make changes, it doesn't audition the change with audio. You're going to have to check it yourself with the Alt Space command. So I'm going to control in, control down arrow, and I'm going to Alt Space. And if I'm not sure if I got it right, note E3. And I'm shift tab back up to the note, and it says it's now an E3. Drift plus 16 CT. And I'm going to change that drift. I'm going to hold down control and Alt and push the down arrow for each time I do it. It's going to bring it down one CT Editor. or is it one semi one cent? Top menu. Editor. Drift plus five CT. Four three two one zero. Now it's no drift. No e drift off. But I kinda want a little bit. So I'm gonna give it about a three. No E3. Drift plus three CT. Okay. So now if we want to listen to the track again, I'm actually gonna turn the sound up a little bit just to kinda let you hear it more. So there we go. That second note is a little sharp. No, not sharp, but it's a little quieter. So what I want to do is I want to go to that second note, and we're actually going to change the amplitude of it. See, it's kind of donkey, you know. It's burnt, you know. Um, so I'm going to go note down. Three. Tab mode pitch. Format. Amplitude. Amplitude change 0.00, .00 dB. Okay. Now I'm going to use the control plus alt and up arrow to change it by one-tenth of a decibel. Tab mode. Amplitude change plus 0.10 .0 dB. And then I'm going to go back and... Uh, close enough. Now, if I want to change it by a full decibel, I simply hold down the control key and just up and down arrow on the amplitude. Tab mode amplitude. Amplitude change plus 1.10 dB. And so I'm going to I'm gonna leave it. Now to start. Okay, I'm going to actually go back to zero. Tab mode. Amplitude change minus 1.00 dB. Wrong note. There we go. Tab amplitude change plus 0 0.10 dB. All right. Tab mode. Amplitude change plus 0 0.10 dB. Okay. Tab amplitude change 0 0.00 dB. All right, cool. So let's see what we got otherwise. Okay, that note's really quiet, so let's bring that up a couple. Okay, I changed a few of them and just you know, I can simply arrow over and it doesn't audition. But if I want to change it manually, I actually have the ability to do that by pressing enter. Let's see where the note is. Editor. 
Amplitude change plus 3.00 dB. So that's at 3. So say I want to change it up to 5. I can simply hit enter instead of if I want to enter a manual note. Text edit. So you'll hear that. And so I'll just put 5.5. 5, and then I'll hit Text enter edit. again. And I'll hit escape. Editor. Amplitude change plus 3.00 dB. Okay, I, mean, I must have did something wrong Text here. Edit. So let's try this again. 5.5. 5. Editor. Amplitude change 5.5. 5. Okay. Now, whenever you do that, it takes a second to kind of reprocess, but that's okay. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it does. Editor. Amplitude uh, change 5.5. 5. So the amplitude, amplitude change is 5.5. 5. Tab mode. Am format. Amplitude. Amplitude change plus 5.50 5. dB. Editor. Amplitude change minus 1.00 dB. Okay, I can't find Editor. that. Amplitude change 0. 0.00. Editor. Amplitude change minus 1.00. Editor. Amplitude change 0. 0.00 dB. Amplitude change 0.00 dB. Did it not make my change? Editor. We'll amplitude change minus 1.00 dB. If it did, it might have just brought it down because it's, it says like the note right there that I was working on. You can hear that little bit of a resonance. In there. Editor. Amplitude change 0.00 dB. Okay, for some reason the pitch didn't change, but let's try it again. Let's Text do edit. a 3 on this high D. Text edit. Edit tap away. Amplitude change three. Okay, so now again, I don't know why it takes a minute for it to actually go through the motions. So let's try it again. Editor. Amplitude change three. Okay. Tab mode. Amp amplitude change three. Okay. Editor. Amplitude change three. All right. So when you enter a manual note, it's kind of weird how it works. I don't know Editor. why. Amplitude change B. Editor. Amplitude change 0, 0.00 dB. Okay. Editor. Amplitude change 0, 0.00 dB. Okay, let's see here. Text edit. Three. Text edit. Editor. Editor. Amplitude change three. Editor. Amplitude change plus 3.00 dB. Okay, you have to hit Alt plus Enter in order for it to activate it. As you can see, it's much louder now. So let's so let's try this again. Let's enter. Text edit. I'm going to put in a ridiculously large number. So I'm going to put in 8 and hit Alt plus Enter. Woo! Hello. <laughs> okay, that's what it was I was doing wrong. Okay, cool. Well, now that I figured that out, let's bring that back down. <laughs> what was that note now? Tab mode amplitude. Amplitude change plus 1.00 dB. Okay, I think that's the note that's also flat, so let's find out. Let's go back a little bit. Okay. So let's, let's see what that Tab is. Mode amplitude. Let's go back to pitch. Formant. Pitch. Note E B three. It's an E flat and it needs to be an E, so let's bring that up one. Actually it needs to be a D, excuse me, so I'll bring it down. Tab mode note D three. Alright, cool. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. Tab mode, note F3. Uh, um, that's the one that's going to confuse me the most, because I can't remember if I'm actually supposed to run that one to an E or a D, but it's an F, which should work. Uh, I can always reopen it, so let's go ahead and, now that I made the changes that I want, let's go back and listen to it. <laughs> So let's go back to the start of the whole file. <laughs> yeah. See, those notes are a little quieter now. I mean, louder. Okay.
I think I know exactly what I was wanting to do there. All right. Tab mode pitch. Note F3. All right. I'm going to bring it to an E. All right, cool. So now that I have this done the way I kind of want to edit it, um, so again, I use the control. Enter. Now, if I want to change the pitch, I can do that too. But here's something else. Okay, um, as you know, this first note, Tab mode pitch. note E3, is an E3. Now, say I want to completely transpose this entire piece, and I'm already inside Melodyne, and change it up a little bit, I can actually do that. So what I want to do is I'm going to hold Control and A and hit, select the entire list of events. And I'm going to bring it up to, since it's in the key of D, let's bring it up to the key of E. So I'm going to Control up arrow twice. And now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the file. And you will see that this is now an F sharp. Tab mode pitch. No GP3. Okay, G flat, either way. <laughs> See, now that's actually an E. Tab mode, note E4. It's an E4 now. So, obviously, if I did that, I am going to completely ruin the track, so I don't want to do this. I'm going to bring it all back down by control a, control a to select all, and then hold Control and push the down arrow twice. For each time you push the down arrow, it does reduce and increase by one semitone with the pitch. So keep that in mind. And now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the file and make sure that that is an E. Tab mode pitch. Note E3. Okay, good. Okay. Now you're probably wondering why I said GB3 in case you're curious. It is because it is using OCR to acknowledge what note is actually being read there. And you got to be careful. Sometimes it won't even read that. So you just kind of have to be cautious about how that turns out. Because there's been times where it'll read note A3 or AB3 for A flat 3. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now that I have this track completely ready to go, i worked with pitch and I've worked with amplitude, which are the two things that primarily will be used in monophonic tracks for instruments. So I want to go to the top menu. Drift plus 3 CT. I didn't really change a lot of the drift because I didn't want to. So let's look at this right here. Editor. Drift plus 21 CT. See, that's really sharp. So let's bring that down. My control, alt, and down arrow. Drift minus 23 CT. Oh, a little too Note short. D4. Drift minus. Way too flat. Okay. Editor. Drift off. Ooh, perfect timing. No D. Drift plus 22 CT. No D. Drift plus 3 CT. Okay, so I brought that. No D. Drift plus 19 CT. There's a little slightly out of tune guitar, but. No D4. Drift plus 8 CT. Anyways. No D. Drift plus 21 CT. As you can see, my D is actually the. No D. Drip minus 4 CT. No D4. Drip minus. Okay. No D. Drip plus 3 CT. Now I'm doing that slightly flat, slightly sharp intentionally. Okay. No D. Drip plus 16 CT. See, that one's not as bad as the other ones was, but it kind of gets them closer no together. Drip plus 9 CT. 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay. No D4. Drip plus 3 CT. All right, cool. All right. I just kind of down back arrow now. All right, cool. Note E3. Drip. Note E3. Drip plus five CT. Note E3. Drip plus three CT. Okay. Editor. Drip plus ten CT. Note A3. Okay. All right, cool. So now that I got the wave file that I'm happy with, or at least a corrected track, what I want to do is I want to export this. Drip plus 8 CT. Editor. Top menu. So I'm going to go to the top menu. I'm going to hit enter. Top menu. And now there's a difference between saving and exporting. Now when you save a file, it's unfortunately just going to create a basic program file. It's not going to create like the actual wave that you want. So you need to actually export. New control plus NN. So what I do is when I get to the top menu, I hit enter. And Open. I'll down arrow until I get to submit. export. Close control plus save control plus N. save as. Replace audio R. Revert to version last save unavailable R. Export. E. Now there's an export option. Now this dialog is normally not accessible, but now it is. Export. Format wave. List item wave. 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 So you only got wave. A I F F. A I F F. MIDI. MIDI. Tempo map. Tempo map. Tempo map. And that's all she wrote. So we're gonna go to wave. wave. And since wave. my tr since my project is actually recorded in forty eight thousand hertz. 
Sample tap over. I'm going to down arrow twice. 48.000 kHz. And there is my 48.000. Bit depth 24 bit linear. And uh, bit depth is 24 bit. Range individual range for each track. And since this is only a single track, it's not going to be using multi track, but since it's a single track, um, that really has no relevance, but it's there in case we decide to possibly do some future implementation. It's already done. Include tails, not selected. Including tails. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't use it, so. Export. So I'm going to hit the export button. Browse for folder dialog. Now, here we okay, the button. browse for folder dialog. Now, this dialog is naturally done by a regular access, and it's a folder tree setup. So, what you want to do is you actually want to create the file directly in the folder where the audio content of your project is saved. For me, it's going to be in my Reaper Projects folder on my C drive because by default, it actually goes into my user's files. And I'm sure there's an option to change that in preferences, so I'll probably end up doing that. Cancel button. Namespace tree control tree view. Level 1 Jared Duval collapsed 3 of 10. So let's move down. Expanded. Collapse. This PC collapsed 4. Expanded. Level 2. Desktop collapsed 2. Document. Download. Music. Col pictures. Col videos. Col local disk. Storage. Local disk. Expand. Level 3 AM. Con mo program files. Program. Reaper project. Program. Reaper projects. Collapse. Expanded. Level 4. NG Steam. Col Backing track. Cell S op. Clean song collapsed. Corey Asbury. Re demo song collapsed 7 of 25. Here's level 4. Here's demo song. Expanded. Level 5 audio 1 of 1. Okay, now I'm in the audio file. Unable to export dialog, you are about to overwrite the original files of your project. Please select a different folder for the files you wish to export. Okay button. Uh, it won't let me. Okay, let's export. try this. Export. So if, I, if they won't let me do that, then here's what I'm going to do. Include tails. Not range into. Include export. Browse for folder dialog. Then I'll okay just simply button. put it in the default directory. No problem. Make new folder button. I'll okay button. So there's Unable that. To export dialog, you are about to oh, wait. export. Oh, uh, Okay, export. I must have not have changed it. Browse for Let's try this button. again. This is nice to know that this is in the video, so nobody else would make this mistake, right? Namespace tree control tree view. Audio one of one level five. Okay, so if I can't put it in the audio folder, here's what I'm gonna do. Level then. four demo song expanded seven of twenty five. I'm gonna put it in the actual demo song folder. Make new folder, but okay button. Exporting Melodyne untitled star. Okay, Top done. Menu. Now I can close Melodyne. Close dialog. The Cancel button. Discard button. Demo song modified. Reaper V5. Okay, now I'm back at the demo song. Now there's something you might want to make note of. Unsolid. Yeah, it's still flat. What am I gonna do? Stop. Uh, that's easy. OBS 64C. Demo demo song row one column three. Demo song window. Items view list. Demo song four of four. Demo song three of four. Zero four lead rhythm one hundred and eighty one thousand one hundred and two zero zero one three copy zero zero one two of four. Okay, so there's my wave file. So here's what I want to do. Audio one of four. Z I'm going to actually cut that. Audio one of items view list. And you can actually do Zero. this with the project open. Replace or skip files. We're going to replace the file. Skip this file. Replace the file in the destination button. Now, don't forget, this is why I have it set up as a secondary editor opening a copy and not the original. Pause the operation checkbox. Audio window. Okay, now it's done. ABS 64C. Demos. Now let's play the track. Yeah. Let's back it up. See, now it's in tune. See, there's that note speaks too. Perfect. Stop. And that, my friends, is how you use Melodyne with Sibiac. And it's very simple. It's a little tedious, but it's very simple once you get the hang of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. I have plenty more to come when more stuff gets added. Now, if you guys want to check me out, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel as I will produce more videos and bring up more content. And I thank you guys for stepping by and stopping by and stepping in and enjoying yourselves in this demonstration purpose. I will see you on the next video. And until then, this is G-Rad signing out, saying thank you and have a great day.